thanksgiving. It is very important if I avoid to speak about this one, God will not permit me. Father, we dedicate this book in these hands of this church. You have blessed us beyond. There are many ministries, big ones, who are not able to get what we have gotten. Thank you even for giving us favor with the government of Kenya that he has given us opportunity to stand and get all the documents we require to run this ministry. I thank you in Jesus' name. Let me give it to one of my trustees. Make sure that this book is very safe. So from today, Atuta Kwana, the Wilsons of this country. Nakumbuka the Wilsons, wala tulifungadisha arusi hapa. So, you can't get it from some other who behaves like witches. A, a, a witch. Wanafraya katiba na wanachikashirikia kitabu ya kanisa. So, kama wewe pia ndoa yako hiko kombo kombo kupewa certificate na serikali ya Kenya, please make sure you come and register with us. Na tutakutafuta pole pole. Safari ya tutafanya those virtual mistakes you have been doing to some people who comes. Wanafanyi uh, warusi arafu wanahepa kapsa wanakuja badai. We will never make that kind of a mistake and we are praying that the Lord will give us that opportunity. Luke chapter number 17 verses number 11. Let's emphasis on verse number 18. Luke chapter uh, 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 17. Kindly are we there? Start verse number 11. The Bible says, And Jesus continued on toward Jerusalem. He reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. Uh -huh. Let's go on. Okay, let's read from the other normal Bibles. Bible Soma strictly verses number 18. Verse 18. 18. Quickly. Verse 18. Nani ya kuna biblia soma verse 18? The other translation says, nobody turned to give thanks. To give what? I said, to give what? The next verse, let's go. No one returned to give thanks except a foreigner. Except what? It is no more even in your house. It's normal, very strict. And I want to say this one with a lot of respect for all the married women and men. When a woman has cooked a very powerful meal, kwa nyumba, chakula hiru napenda sana msendubi, kama yu ugali ya brown, na maziwa mara, ya makombi. Makombi is a very powerful, powerful substance. If you have those makombi, you become a very dangerous man. Now, when those things are prepared with the brown ugali, mtu wa kikula, amefurai, Paka roi metetemeka. Instead, number one person that is next to you, you give thanks. Thanks even saying thank you is enough. Because the word thanks, you encourage. You do what? You do what? You encourage. In that scripture, there were ten lepers who came. And these ten lepers... Out of ten, nine were Jews. Were what? I said they were what? The Bible says Jesus met them and healed them. After he healed them, the Bible says they ran, celebrated. They went to dance around. They never said anything. But the Bible says a, a foreigner, the other translation says a Canaanite. The other translation says a non-believer who does not know about God. He remembered he has been healed of reprosy. Maniko nasema, alipotambua, akarudi kwa Yesu. Akafaa nini? Aliparudi kwa Yesu, bibili nasema, akatoa shukurani. Akatoa nini? Alipotoa shukurani, Jesus asked a very fundamental question. Which question did he ask? Can we go to the next verse very quickly? Jesus asked, what question? Can you read it loudly? Yeah. He asked, did I do what? How many were they? And he asked, where is the other one? 
we could have sat down think that it's a normal accident that's what i was saying i and my family and say and we have seen families perishing whole family there's a pastor in machakos he lost entirely all the children the wife the children were six and the wife they were seven he remained alone you know somebody will not say mulevi na mujinga you somebody will not say mulevi na mujinga mwenye akirinusu ndiye atasema si utawa mwanamke mwingine na uzae tena wao nafikiria kuzaa ni kama vile wanaachilia popcorn tu wanatokea unaniona wana kile wanatokea tu kulea kutoka kwa napkin paka mtoto akue mtoto wa kweli unafikiria nini inakuwa kwa hiyo nyumba wale wamekuwa na watoto wadogo niambie do you do you sleep as you want nauliza unalalaka vile unataka mtoto na change even program hata ukiona that's why wamama mimi wale wananyonyeshaga nikiona church wanashongaa hivi wanafanya hivi wanasinzia wana i understand them because time changes ule mtoto ametoka kimo anasema unaweza pasua mtoto na mwambie mimi ni baba yako unajua ule mtoto yuko in another world ako marekani mtu ametoka marekani akija kenya lazima adjust mpaka aanze usingizi aanze kurudi Kenya style ama ndubi si umesafiri yeah. wakati unasafiri umetoka hapa kwenu watu umetoka saa 12 ulikuwa unalala unajifanya umelala unafika America unajikuta watu wote ndio wameanza kulala na wewe ulikuwa umeamuka sasa ukiamuka wao wamelala si kweli lazima utafute masaa ya kufanya nini you don't know what is death saa hii tukiongea tu ya kifo kama tuongee mtu amefiwa kama mtu ana wasasi kama mtu ako na to see no of parents they have no respect for the same parents do you understand that they have no respect to swap anything that god has given you because we have seen somebody who is holy mtu alikuwa mzima there's one pastor called monsieur kali tuhubiria akatuambia he had an accident let me tell you my friend ati alitoka kwa bridge huko juu i don't know where it was i said mwapi alitoka gari kaenda chini yani the way he describes it he come here one day to preach aliniambia when we were with him alisema hii kichwa ilifunguka na it is true tulipokuwa conference na yeye eh, eh, kwa bishop Jacinda Jusi eh, last year ukweli kabisa hii chicho hana ilitolewa hivyo amevaa miwani ukimwona is a very handsome guy very handsome yani hii chicho si kujua hakuna alifungua hivi akaniambia man of god unajua unaona is a joke me am a dead i'm a dead man ati hata alipokuwa kwa hospitali wahubiri walienda kumuona maombi waliomba walianza wasema mtumishi wako jehova amemaliza kazi duniani hata kumbuka vile alifanya vile bwana alifanya kazi ya ngufu baba kumbuka watoto wake na mke wake ati yeye he could hear by a distance anasema sikufi na siendi sikufi na siendi the man was in coma i don't know how many months that is a man that was a man of god from a mission let me tell you let me tell you some people think when something has happened it can happen kila ujawai iona kikutendekea na kile uliogopa that's what i was telling my wife yesterday nikamwambia things we fear sometimes even people have come here in church and they have disappeared some even they have talked they have become politician talked wrong we don't remember that because that's the greatest thing we feared but now we stand at death because the first question king aliuliza daddy aliuliza mamake mami yani tungekufa hivi kabla hatujajenga hiyo hiyo cathedral yani chetani alikuwa anataka kutuua nikamwambia now that because she was late one sister came here who came to thank god for those ones who came and gave us a heavy comfort on the whole week we didn't want it of course but our friends came one lady came here joke and said akasema nilipoona hiyo accident pastor na ninajua amwachani nikamuuliza joke tunaachana tukienda wapi because sisi ni wa madhabahuni na wa kanisani amen amen akasema nilipoangalia moyo wangu ukaruka nikauliza mungu you have killed the entire family Tukiwa na hapa mimi langu then there was another debate tukauliza bibi na bwana wakikufa pamoja na mmoja akikufa mwingine abaki ni nini iko sawa sasa tukaanzia hapo tena debate okay that, that's how so many because after tumetoka police ni we were in police station alone tukakaa hapo so they came to give us also we stayed there mpaka wale jaki wale watu walisema ati hawa tabadilisha case walisha padilisha my brother and i told you nikakwambia ukasema ah hii ni straight 
Hii ni straight. Kualisha badilisha brother. And mimi niambia mawaifu niambia we are forgiven them 101%. God has given us our life is back. There is nothing about the cars, nothing about anything. God has our destiny is at hand. Umeisha badilisha brother. Na unakumbuka wewe ndio ulikuwa na insisto naambia ah hii ni straight pastor hii hata hata hawezi ruka nikamwambia kuruka ni evident and kuruka ni obvious hata wewe mtu aliongana in fact ile gari ilitolewa the same day hata ikufika police station as by the information na kama ilifika herono hiyo ile gari ilitukonga yetu hata ndio ilirara hapo sisi ndio criminal hata wakuli mwenye ameandika kile kanika karatasi ameandika hapa juu kwetu kwanza careless <laughs> ndugu yangu ndio wanasema asiye na wake aelekee majiwe yani kuna msemo wa kikisi very ina, inasema very powerful sema mzee ndupi ulio talio mwabo hiyo eh. <laughs> hiyo hiyo is a very powerful word in interpretation jack in details When we went there, that this guy is already. In fact, the other day here, upper, upper, upper cafe, he was driving KBY, which new. Even the brother who came on Gare, who they were working with, when he came to our house, I can't be. I mean, it is it is deeper. You you cannot say about it. But one thing I was looking at, thanks giving. Nikulisa mungu, nikamuliza God. Hata nilikuwa naambia Edward tukiwa hapa kwa ibada nilimwambia <laughs> Edu maneno imegeuka hata 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 itufai Eh Eh Imagine Edward akawa nabii na akaendelea hivi na si tulikai Hata mpaka mtu wa hospitali hapa kwa nini Either even those be trees we have them here <laughs> we forgive them we, we honestly speaking mimi i forgive hata nikwambia mzee askari mzee kabisa very old aniambia akaniambia pasa mimi sasa naenda kwetu kambani kuzeeka because mimi nilipelekwa akaniambia alipelekwa band forest akapelekwa molo akapelekwa eldoret mali alikuwa anabeba maiti asema ati kuna time hiyo ni maiti zina muonda akaniambia waachana nao vijana wote wako hapa Justice is not in this place. Ni nakwambia maana niko hapa. Waachana na wao. Hawa vijana kama una mtu strong ama una mtu wako ambaye asimame hapa apige kelele. Kaambia no. Kuna Mungu mbinguni atafanya nini? Ule pasta mwenye naye pia alikuwa amewangwa hapo because kuna pasta naye gari yake naye ilikuwa ime crash. Hivyo eh uzuri alikuwa na washirika na wazee wake wa kanisa wengi. Uzuri wakienda hivyo au mnajua wa polisi pia kumbe wa Maria la mkiwa wengi hao wasema alikuja na matai wamesimama hivi wako niti mzee ndubi na mzee na pasta na akawa ako na kola sasa mimi mtumizi ya Jehova nimeenda na na court tu na shati na ni court huko na mna kijana amevaa king amevaa ameshaki trouser ati hawa ndio walikuwa ngoja kwanza huko ka hapo mwote wote kwanza mtu alitwambia vizuri ka hapo mwote wote Huyo pasta yeye alipopiga kelele yani hao watu wake because he was not there. Kwanza gari yao ikatolewa. Mtu mmoja alituliza, "If you want to know the state of this thing, look where is that car?" Ili ili onga hapo. Kumbe hata ilitokea hapa kwa lift car motors. Wenyewe wako hapo hao wakunywaji. Then <laughs> the, the story is too long anyway that is not a <laughs> someone. Kile what I want to say when You have an opportunity one that you can say thank you. You can do what say? Even to your wife. Even to because Jackson, you have a word to tell to your wife, thank you my sister that you carried this pregnancy nine months and you brought a living being. She has the capacity to destroy it. She has a capacity not even to conceive. Nani ana barakin? She has a capacity. There is a cap- let me tell you. It is until you give birth Zabir, wewe ulilia miaka ngapi? Nikiwa toje yaambia watu kwa kanisa, wewe simama. Simama tu. Wewe. Ni mara ngapi hata ulisema huyu? How many times she said even hapa akasema, "Pasta kuna siku moja ninaweza shika mtoto 
kwa nini hata alikuwa anashika watoto wa watu she loved children other wa watu anashikaga hivyo anasema kuna siku naweza shika mtoto si kweli pegi mara si moja mara si mbili mara si tatu paka mashemeji wake si waliwahi mtukana anatumbe imeoza yezi imbebe mtoto leo unajua kile ambao tujui ni kwamba wakati Mungu anapotutembelea anatubariki Leo she has a baby very lovely kid. Mimi hata nikiona anazunguka anapiga kelele. I know she's growing. We are happy. Si aja zake wete. Unaniaelewa lakini? Hata kama nikiwete ukipewa wa mwingine ubebe unasikia uzito ama? Lakini kiwete yako hata ukibeba hivi unasikia kama unasikia uko sawa, si kweli? Hiyo peke yake ni sababu kusimama mbele za Mungu na kumwambia Jehova asante. Thank you my sister. Hata Mungu amekubariki leo ki ni wangapi hivi kama ni wadada hata mtu anaweza kaa kwa kiu akitengeneza nywele na kuna wenye hata nywele wako nayo inakaa unga haiwezi shikika hata mwenye saluni anaogopaka kwenda wakienda kwa saluni na warifa kwa next saluni kwa sababu hana amevaa wivu mpaka unafikiria ni lifestyle kumbe nywele hakuna mama moja alikuja hapa hivi hapa church mpaka tukamwaga mafuta kwa kichwa ya You know you people you don't know. Kabisa ya ukweli my brother. Kichwa amejaribu ku maintain nywele hakuna iko na na nini inaitwa nini? Yaani kumbe hata kutoka ndani yako hivyo ma, ma wounds. Inaitwa nini? Dandrus na nywele hakuna. Akate mwanamke akate akue kama hii hako yapeleke wapi? Na maandiko inasema nywele ya mwanamke ndio crown yake. Crown ya mwanaume, si kweli? Hey please. The Bible says the hair of a woman is a crown of a what? Ukiona bibi yako brother akona hiyo nywele anafanyaga kama mzungu hata kama you have don't appreciate it. Hey anajua. Changine tunagombana kwa angalia hiyo nywele. Pesa ngapi? Lakini ukweli ni kwamba ikishatokea ukisikia sema eh mama uko na nywele mzuri unajisikia sema yes yes. In fact. Lakini ukweli unajua let me tell you what you have you take it for granted you don't know the value of it. I say you don't know the value of it. Nilikuwa na lala ikilala sasa hii, ikilala this side on my left. Naumwa sana. So huwa na lala na mimi naturally sijui vile tulizaliwa hii hii hii, hii group hii ya watu wenye wanatoka huko Western. Hata mtoto wangu tunapenda kulala atulalagi side moja sijui tunaoka hapa eh, ma, ma Saitan. So unakuta tunazunguka hivi. We love hata mtoto wangu kila mtu anapenda anapenda una road this side unaenda this side. Hebi bianga wangu kilala kama amelala ameangalia east mpaka asubuhi. Sisi lazima tunafanya mazoezi. Unaelewa? Hata sijui ni kwa nini. Hata mtoto wangu yuko hivyo tu. Hata akienda kulala kwa watu anambia, namwambia mchunge huyu anazivana nini? Tunapenda tu yani. Tunapenda we love it. So nimekuja kulia Rex Jackson I have been taking it for granted when I turn on this left side because this is where I, I, I got injured when I take here from here sasa here have you going back ni na naomba mpaka niko naambia huyu siku naambia I don't know what to do see bus to so where to your bed fanya kila kitu kambi I did not know the value ya hiyo kuzunguka vile unaona unaona vile unazunguka ni kama ukiwa hospitalini umefungiwa hii mguu imekatika umeangiwa hivi unani elewa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe you don't value what you have you don't thank God that what he has given you don't thank him that even giving you even mimi naambia mtu even wakati kuna watu kuna watu leo hivi wamepasuliwa wame, wame kama ni wamama wamepasuliwa wawezi za tena anaambiwa wezi mama moja mtoto wake alipofariki alikuwa anasema ni mtoto 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 when she alipoza akatolewa mpaka umbu completely asa huyo mtoto huyo mama akukumbuka kwamba huyo ndio mtoto wa mwisho akaanza pamoja alipoambiwa akaanza kupembeleza kila saa anasema awezi enda kanisa kwa sababu mtoto 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 huyo alikufia kwa mikono vile kimu alisema alishika wake hivi akafa akiona huyo mtoto hivi akafa sasa mama akasema alianza kumulaani Mungu anasema no god devil you call yourself god so 
Where do you live? Unajua kuna kitu inakutendekea ambako unakuwa umeviatu kama? That's what unanga hata kwa accident mtu akipata accident unakutana mtu anasema anatokea mbio pa. Anasema kuna kuna kitu. Kuna kitu ilikuwa hapo. Watu werevu wanamchukua polepole wanajua waja tuende tupime labda amegongwa imeenda kwa ki? Ama inakuwa aje? You don't know. Huyo mama wakati mtoto alifariki leo she is an evangelist. She what? Don't wait to be an evangelist for other circumstances. Be an evangelist when you are well. I say when you are well. Usingute wakati umefutwa kazi. Unatoka ni unatokea mara moja. Bibi ya George kikichana hii Lawrence Bishop. Wakati watu wanavutwa wanavutwa railway. Wakavutwa wakavutwa railway hata ule mtu alikuwa hapa juzi huyo mkubwa wa reli aliniambia anaitwa Ziki Busam. Akaniambia pasta waja ni kwambi railway ilikuwa na over 30,000. Leo we are only 22 are around the country. 30,000. Nikamuuliza how do you survived? Akaniambia pasta I can never tell. Steve Until you lose what you have, you will never know the value of it. Mwanaume mmoja alichezea bibi yake akamchezea 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 akamwambia taka taka ki hata ukikaa karibu na mimi hata sionagi faida yako. Nakaa hapa tu nakaa tu umebeba matumbo nikukula tu hapa bure hata nikuongeza choo ya hapa. Sikuani value. Amemzalia watoto wawili akamwambia kwenda kabisa anamutesa mpaka analeta wanawake wengine anaweka kwa nyumba ndugu moja tu aku anajua siku mama alipoamka na akajiondoa akatoka kabisa akatoka akamwambia wazazi wake wakasema hii kasi aiende kabisa isionekane hapa hata ndiye imekuharibia kazi mama akajiondoa roho safi akakuta ndugu moja na yeye amefiwa na mke lakini ule mke wake alikuwa hazai ndugu akona duka nzuri kubwa tu maduka za kufanya biashara akaoa huyo mama alipooa huyo mama kabisa na watoto wake akamooa akamwambia hata uenda hata ukikufa siwezi kusikia kama uko karibu akamooa akaenda na huyo mama she was not learned akwa kumbe mtu anaweza kosa hajasoma sana lakini ndani yake kuna kibali ambao kinaongeza maisha yako this man did not know The engine behind his success was this woman. That lady went. Alipoenda hule ndugu, the man who was man those business, akawa ayuko tena. The business grew into biggest. Huyu wale wanawake unajua malaya wakiona mwanaume ako na tupesa ndio saa hiyo wako nafanya mazoezi hawajui mwenye amesaidia hiyo pesa ikapatikana ndio wanafanya mazoezi ya kuja kuzikula ama akakuja akaoa wanawake unajua anaoa in condition anasema unajua nilikuwa nayo so we unakuja unakaa ile ya kuwekwa kinyumba kinyumba that lady huyu mwanaume what had finished kumbe alikuwa na madeni na maloni na he had not paid alichotwa huyu aliyefukuzwa wakanawiri akanunuliwa kagari ka kwanza wakaacha kafilda akatolewa akanunua kaharia sasa huyo mama akanawiri akazalia huyo mtu tu mtoto mmoja huyo mtu hakuwa na haraka because the previous wife hakuwa amezaa kwa hivyo hata hakuwa na shida ya kuzaa alikuwa na shida ya mtu atalea watoto akamzalia mtoto mmoja mama akafanikiwa anabebaga wanaenda kanisa sasa huyo mwanaume akawa wakati amefilisika kabisa huwa anabeba marafiki zake wanapitia karibu na duka ya huyo mama nasema na mama yuko pale E, mama ndio yule pale. Yaani mmoja <laughs> akamuuliza mama ule ni mke wako ama niko ule ni mama ule ndio mke wangu ni vile tu tuliachana kidogo lakini ile kazi ni yangu. <laughs> ile kazi ni yangu. Jamaa anasema without without value. One day huyu mwanaume huyu mwingine akamwambia nasikia your ex husband keeps on telling akasema si unajua wanaume na akili yao na na nini yao si unajua you know my parents you went to my parents home na ukaona wazazi wangu na wakakwambia na alisema hata kwa kifo nisionekane karibu na kaburi lake 
Mama huyo akachukua 100,000 akapatia mtoto wake firstborn son, akamwambia perekea baba yenu na umwambie aachane na maisha yangu milele. Huyo mzee alilia, akaokoka. Sasa ni evangelist. Bwana asifiwe. Kile ambacho hauheshimu siku moja ndio itakubariki. Haleluya. Mimi tu kama wewe siyeze haleluya because I know is a con man. Because unajua kuna wakora wakati umefanikiwa umeku kitu kizuri ndio mtu anakuambia anakuvaa anavaa nini let me tell you maandiko nasema Yesu aliuliza where are the what i say where are what that's Jesus himself because kuna kitu nakumbuka ndani ya moyo wako unakumbuka kwamba Mungu umenitoa kwa shimo babu umenitoa kwa shida babu umenitoa kwa tabu Mungu umenitoa mahali ambao ibilisi alikuwa ameneshika Daudi akasema Bwana wewe ni mkongosho wangu umenitoa katika shimo la giza shimo la nini Psalms 107 tubalize we can finish this it's a big big topic Psalms 107 quickly let's read that verse number 2 to same day 20 na 22 quickly Maniwe sema give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Is what? I say is what? Is good. And it's faithful love endures. I say endures for what? Forever. Anything you appreciate stiff. Ujawahi ona mtu mfupi brother na ni munono extra anabebwa na wili baro and then you will appreciate that height uko nayo. Kuna nadhani unasema kwa kio. You know let me tell you the truth. Nimejaribu kuambia kwa Mungu mara nyingi anitolee roho ya malalamiko. Kila watu wanapenda ni nini? Adam wanaume kusikia sauti yake kwa nyumba wakati kule imepikwa siku chumfi imeteremka kidogo imefanya nini? Ndio anaanza kusikia kwani hii nyumba inakuaga ni ya ngombe sinakulaga chumfi nyingi hii design ni nini? Siku mtu amekula anakulaga anapanguza mdomo kama cockroach mm, nipe maji. Anapiga na anatoka tu kama unajua vile cockroach inaendaga hivi. No thanks no nothing you don't appreciate hata kumwambia yule mwenye amepika asante. Ya nini? You know that mwenye hata msichana kwa nyumba mwenye anakupikia food Jackson anaweza amka leo hiyo akawamaliza the entire house. Siku na mzee mmoja niliambiwa hapa alimalizwa na msichana mmoja akamalizwa na vijana wake wote roho safi. Alilala na baba, akalala na two sons, akalala na wote na the lady was positive. Na akawamaliza hivyo pa na wakaisha hivyo. Generation muzima ikaisha. Kifani? Unamka asubuhi. Nashukuru Mungu. I thank God for this church every day. Na mka asubuhi na kumuka kuna watu they are closing churches every day. Somebody said statistics say pastors are heavily discouraged men. It's the biggest and that's why many of them are quitting, many of them are going to business world, many of them are backsliding every day because they don't understand that the people you love so much they cannot even appreciate you once. Amen. That's why unataka hata makanisa mengine wako na pastors day. I said in this church we we'll never have pastors day. Any human being who feel like he want to be a blessing to us, let him do it. Eh? Hai. Adam ali umetoka kimu zikulikuwa na pastors day. Watu wanatembelea kati pastors. I said that one no. Why? Because I don't want to enslave human being. Mwana Yesu asiwe sana. If you solicit thanks from a human being, you have already received your reward. Amen. But anything you do from your heart, you do from where? Your heart. Your heart. Thanksgiving encourages you. Do what? And it gives you an opportunity to give more. We end up with a mutu asante. Other what you want to mutu and ambia. Excuse me. Let's read verse number 20. Becca number 20. Verse number 20. Same Psalms. In a summer, and he sent out his word, and his heart, what healed us. And snatching them from the from the door of death. From where? 